Hi guys and welcome back to another LucaVision video and welcome back to a brand new national selection video. Oh yeah! That's right and judging by my outfit of choice today and that title down below, we are having a little look at Sweden, one of my all time favourite countries at Eurovision and arguably the best and the strongest national selection ever. That's right, it's the Melody Festival and whoop whoop, whoop whoop. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the four entrants who won the second chance round. That's right, and if you guys have missed my reactions to any of the winners of each heat, make sure you click that link up the top there. It'll take you straight to my special Melita Festival in 2021 playlist. But no, guys, in today's video, it's a doozy. We're going to be looking at Alvaro Estrella, Paul Ray, Clara Klingstrom and Clara Hammerstrom. Those Claras have very similar names indeed. Clara with a C and Clara with a K. Yes guys, I'm so excited to be having a look at the full lineup. Now this video is a doozy, so I'm going to be watching half of each song just so I can get the vibe and the feel and the aesthetic. And I am actually really excited to see if I prefer any of these entrants to the guys that actually won the contests. And that is what I really want to know from you guys. Let me know if there are any entrants from the heats that should have gone through to the second chance round but you feel like were hashtag robbed. And it doesn't just have to be these guys in this video here. I'm talking about any artist from any heat. Let me know down below and I'll give it a little look-see. Because you know me, I love new music. So let's do this. Enough chat, let's react. And yes guys, there will be some weird cuts within this video, but I can assure you that each song has the same amount of time that I'm going to be watching in this video. So tell me who your fave is down below and give me your top for the Melody Festival and final. So let's go. Right, so first up we got Clara with a C. She's a vibe, she reminds me of Avril Lavigne. Taylor Swift country pop song. Oh, even though she looks quite unhappy, the song is quite positive and upbeat. I feel like it's very empowering if I knew the lyrics. Oh, nice airy vocals there. She is hipster chic. It's got a sunny disposition. And it's good little walking track. Ah, oh, it's a very nice little cutesy melody. Love the trancey beats. It kind of gives me a Miley Cyrus vibe that the kind of music Miley Cyrus releases nowadays, but with more of a country inflection. Very sweet and endearing. Oh, she has got a sweet, subtle voice. Oh, she makes me smile. I like Clara with a C. I feel like she needs to give us more expression, like, and give us more charisma and stage presence, but otherwise, smashed it. Right, next we've got Alvaro Estrella, Baila Baila. Ah, oh, this is a different vibe. He is a mood. Oh, I love the way they move the bodies on stage. This is a fiesta, a party on stage. Oh, I love the aesthetics, the different outfits, the vibrant staging. This drop though. What is Baila Baila? I can't wait to go abroad. Oh, what a hook. And the Hispanic elements and little motifs are so good. I love the influence. Oh, and the little strum there. It's quite a sultry little Hispanic uh, motif. Hey! He's got so much attitude and charisma. I love him. I want to go to his party. Bit of a dodgy note, but we'll let that slide. Oh, that was really good. I loved that. Right, next we've got Paul Ray, the missing piece. He just dissolved on stage. Like the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm melting! Ooh. This slaps. Where's it going, Paul? This staging is very dramatic. It's like he's in his own music video. Doing some camera flirting. Ooh, what an epic instrumentation. This could be from a film. Oh, I wish the chorus took off a little bit more. The instrumentation is so dramatic. I feel like the vocals need to be up a notch. I think they're kind of pandering to a younger audience with this. 
It's so effortless, like, yeah, I don't need to do a lot, I just reek of coolness. Oh, that's a nice little drop. Not really my sort of thing. A bit too cool for me, but mm. moving on. Clara with a K, beat of broken hearts. Her outfit though! Oh, what a lovely tone to her voice. Nice staging, I love that scream. Oh, Ooh, I love that hook in the chorus. That's it, get that charisma. A sassy little stance, love her. Ooh, we love a double chorus. Oh, yes, a little electric guitar strum, it's all gone quiet. Bring us that key change, please. She does the soft tones so well. She belts like a queen and she does the soft tones like a queen. Yes, Clara with a K, yes! You smashed that! Oh my god, I love the aesthetics and the stage, I love her costume, I love her vocals. Guys, these songs were pretty good. So guys, there we have it. There's my reaction to the last four songs for the final of the Melody Festival. And like I said, if you missed any of the other videos, click the link up there and it'll take you straight there. But what can I say? Overall, I can definitely see why the winners won the heat. These guys in comparison are more on the B list. I, it was a bit touch and go. I can say that my favourite from this selection was Baila Baila. That was amazing. It was just such a different vibe from the rest of the songs and it really stands out phenomenally. The others were okay, don't get me wrong, they were good songs, but they didn't slap the way that the others did. But guys, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think of these songs down below in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say. And stay tuned soon for my top for the Melody Festival and coming up very, very shortly. But that's all from this video, guys. That's all from me today. If you enjoyed the Melody Festival and you love Sweden, be sure to hit that thumbs up button so I can see that you like Sweden just as much as I do. Also, please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. That way you can stay up to date with all of these videos as they come out thick and fast. But that's all from me. All that's left for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay safe, look after yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye. One, two, one, two, three, I took the sticks and stones and